During a recent conversation with a senior account executive, she stated that her customers are not buying from her because of the great product she sells, but because they like her. Is there evidence to support this notion? After all, the saying goes, people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. So it is often said that customers buy from people they like. While we don't usually buy from people we dislike, there is one more dimension. Customers buy from people they like and trust. And now there is a third component. People do business with people they like, trust, and know, especially in the business world. And consequently, a lot of B2B purchasing decisions have more to do with the relationships the buyer have with the salespeople and less to do with the product or service. But there are other voices sharply contradicting this notion. They say buyers are not in the friend business, Buyers are in the improvement, growth, and opportunity business. Buyers need solutions that give them the ability to meet and exceed their goals. Therefore, value trumps likability every time. As a seller, be valuable, not liked. And they add that there's a lot at stake for today's B2B buyer to buy from you just because they like you. Clients are busier than ever before, they're more decision makers, and ROI is king. Between these two schools of thought, allow me to add my own thinking. Number one, delivering an ROI or an improvement is an assumed given for any product. No one in B2B buys nice-to-haves. It is not an actual buying reason. Number two, very few products are standouts. Most are competing with other very similar products and sales teams work hard to communicate a unique value proposition that often is only inches away from the competitor. And number three, I've seen my fair share of irrational decisions made in B2B buying where despite demonstrating ROI, improvement and growth, the decision went the other way. And this is precisely where trust familiarity and likability come in and can make a difference. And since we're in a time where more and more sales are moving online and an ever increasing share of the sales process happens virtually, the same holds true online. While your website can share all the rational reasons for why your product is the best, no one will buy unless they feel they get to know you have a likable online experience and develop the trust that the product or services delivered actually meet the description provided. Mm -hmm.